Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And today I'm going to be teaching you something very exciting. I will share with you step-by-step step how you can create, write and design a book in minutes. Let's begin. So what you're looking at here is a software called designer right here at the top. I will put the link in the description down below. So go ahead and check that out because this is quite remarkable. I heard about this a while back, but I'm like, you know what? Let me give it a shot. Let me give it a chance. And when I used it, I was mind blown. It is insane. So the first thing we're going to do, let me move myself to the middle. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this button right here to the right where it says create ebook. So we're going to click on that. Let me move myself back. What you're looking at here is options. If you've already written a story or a book and you have it on Microsoft Word or any document, or maybe you want to turn your blog post into a book, you can do so here. In the case of a blog, you can provide the link to the blog or the post. In the case of a Word document here, you just click on import doc or you can import the Google doc and you can even turn a Google doc into a PDF document but then here we have what's called word genie which is powered by chat gpt i'm going to click on it i clicked on word genie and basically what this is this is a tool that will generate your ebook title your outline the description of what your book is going to be about i'm going to click on getting started and then we're going to pretend that we're going to write a book together and now the topic will be self discovery for moms. Okay, perfect. So self discovery for moms. This is extremely cool because if you're like me, you're a mom of three and you have zero time word genie and this designer software is a game changer. It changes things because time is a limited supply. So we need time to create books and, and write them and things like that. But check this out. What is the theme of your project? So now we're going to go ahead and write a little bit more. Okay. Is it blogging? Let's look at our options here. Author, beauty, blogging, business, career, copywriting, e-commerce, education. I'm going to choose something like self-development if it's available. Okay. So it says self-development. Spiritual. Oh, they have spiritual self-development. I had no idea. Let me just go ahead and choose self-development. And perhaps let me see if there's something else here that resonates for the self-discovery for moms. Uh, you know what? Let me leave it as it is just self-development. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on next here to the right hand side. Now let's see what it says. It says, do you want to choose one of these sub niches or stay with your niche? Let's see. Self-discovery for moms, self-discovery through motherhood. I love that. Self-discovery is for stay-at-home moms. I'm going to choose this one because I'm a stay-at-home mom. It would apply to me and all the other stay-at-home moms. Let me go ahead and click on next. This is pretty interesting. It says, what audience is your book targeted towards? OMG. So I'm going to go ahead and put stay-at-home moms. We need to be accurate. So stay at home moms. I clicked on next. And let's see. Here are some suggested titles for your ebook. Which one do you like? Read along with me. Unveiling the power within. A journey of self-discovery for stay at home moms. The path to finding yourself. A guide for stay at home moms on a journey of self-discovery. I love this one. Love it, love it, love it. Let me choose it. It's the second one on this list. I'm going to click on next. This is insane. We have an outline, guys. We have a book outline, chapter one, embracing your identity as a stay at home mom, exploring your passions and interests. That one is very important. Self care and self reflection, so important. Building a support network, definitely top priority. Chapter five, setting goals and creating a personal self development plan. Yes, balancing motherhood and personal growth. Check. I I think this is great. This is a wonderful outline. But now that we're going to hit on next, we like this outline. L just look at this for a moment. It says, it may take a few minutes for Word Genie to generate your content. It's going to generate our content. And by content, the content 
that we just saw on the outline that's exactly what it's going to prepare right now as we're waiting and as this the screen is just moving this ai is basically coming up with all the content for our book as i have said before even if you already have a book it's generating literally a book for you chapter by chapter and word for word i would not just grab this and just toss it into the amazon kdp platform we want to make sure that if we're publishing books they need to be a little bit personalized to what your experiences have been as in this case as a stay-at-home mom since this book is for stay-at-home moms and they are walking on a journey of self-discovery it's at least for me it's going to be very easy to just go through this and be able to add some and personalize it and add a lot of my personal insights what i have learned after a decade of being a stay-at-home work from home mom and i believe that's where this ebook can be powerful and can actually help other people other stay-at-home moms Make sure that when you use something like ChatGPT or a software that's powered by AI, that you are still providing value and to your readers because it's so easy. Sure, look at this. It's already like literally in minutes, it's coming up with every single chapter. And that's not all. Like this is not all. Like it will create the actual interior pages. You're going to see. Just give it a moment. Bear with me. And just it's this is incredible i'm like speechless when i first used this i was like this is this is insane i haven't seen anything like it usually my i guess my my process is i write something on word i make sure i edit it with grammarly then i create a template on canva and that way I can just go ahead and save it as a PDF document and upload it onto the Amazon KDP platform. But with designer, like it removes the need to use a Canva. I don't need to use Canva anymore because you will see how you'll be able to design your book on this platform. It's crazy. Let's go. Chapter by chapter. All the information is here. Suppose that I already went through this. I edited some of the stuff. You can go ahead and add anything you want here. Um, it says, notice the sensation, smells, and sounds around you. This simple act of being fully present can help you reconnect with yourself and discover new aspects of your being. Um, you can go ahead and delete this if you want, or you can add more content to this, depending, maybe a self, a, a, a story that you can tie into this. So now we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom where it says continue to choose a template. I'm going to click on that because we will be able to choose a template for our ebook. This is crazy. Okay, so now we're going to be able to choose from there are free options and there are options that are not available to me because I would need to upgrade um, to a another plan. But for instance, let's just say that for the sake of this example, I'm going to go ahead and use something like... I'm going to use, let's see. Okay, this one right here. You can either click on use or preview. I'm going to click on use. And now this is where I was mentioning that you wouldn't need uh, something like Canva because you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, we have the table. That's the that ebook cover, right? But then we have the table of contents, okay? Then we have the interior pages. I'm going to show you this right now. It's, got, it's coming up. Okay, you see chapter one, embracing your identity as a stay-at-home mom. That's chapter one. You see how it's already designed? All you have to do is make sure that you can change anything. If you look here to the left-hand side, you have options to change the text color, uh, where, where it's going to be placed. If you want it to the right hand side alignment, you can here background, you can change the background color positioning. Let's see spacing, the margins. I mean, the border, this is it's just it's so detailed. You can just go ahead and design this exactly how you want it to look. If I go to elements here to the left hand side, it says import content. You can import content if you have some you can import it here onto the actual document you can embed a video 
uh, captioned images. You can add a QR code. Um, let's see. Oh, you can even add a call to action here to the left-hand side. It's right there. Um, a new table, questions, free text, uh, a calendar, a weekly planner, but that is for an upgraded version of the software. Uh, page numbers, page breaks. I mean, this is so, so like to the T of when it comes to design. It's quite remarkable. I haven't seen anything like this yet. Um, it has artwork and shapes. Uh, it's just, there, there's so much and there's so much to learn. Uh, let's see if I click here on blogging. Um, okay, these are for images. You can add these images to the ebook. So this is pretty cool. So ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Let's say I were to say that I'm done. I like what I have. I like what I see. And I just want to go ahead and publish it as it is. I want to save it and be able to upload it on Amazon KDP. Perfect. You can do that. If you go all the way to the bottom here where I'm pointing at, it says publish. I'm going to click on it. What you're looking at right now are the options that you have to be able to save your manuscript. You can save it as a PDF document, which means that that's exactly what you need if you want to upload it onto Amazon KDP and publish a paperback book. But if you want a Kindle book and you want to publish it as a Kindle ebook, you would have to click on here where it says Kindle EPUB export. These are locked. I only have access to them as soon as I upgrade. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions about self-publishing or creating books, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I will see you on the next video.